Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 34. Inside this video, we are going to see the update operation. In the last video, we have created a delete button in the list and also performed the delete functionality. When we click on any of the delete button, it will delete that specific row. Now inside this video, we are going to make a update button. When we click let's say on edit button or update button, it will show a form and inside that form, we will have the existing data. And when we change the existing data or let's say old data, then the updated value will be saved inside that table. So step by step, we will do the update operation. So first of all, we need to create a edit button layout here. So back to editor, go inside this our template file and by the help of this template file, we are entering our list students. Now inside this delete button, inside this TD, let's create another anchor tag. This time we have edit, let's say class. As we are using bootstrap, so that's why we are including some bootstrap classes. So btn btn let's say info. Here we will have the href attribute, and inside this let's say edit, and also we want to we want to pass the student ID. Why we are passing student ID? Because when we click on this any of the edit button, then respective student data should be read on the update layout. What I mean? First of all, let's pass our student ID here. So let's say student ID. Now if we save these changes, go and reload this page. And as we can see that we have a edit button. So let's reorder these buttons. So at the first position, we want edit button. Reload this page. So we have edit and delete button. So when we click on this edit button, we are getting a route called edit and this is all about student ID. So by the help of this student ID, we are going to read the student data and display inside update form layout. So go here. First of all, we need to create a layout. Sorry, it's a route. So here we have edit route. route here we have the get method inside this we have edit route and inside this edit route we are passing student id putting an array we are calling controller so it should be a student controller it's a class and inside this let's say so student data what next we have to do copy this method name back to controller and first of all, we need to display our data. So let's say display student data. So public function. Here we have the function name. And inside this function, we are receiving a student ID. So let's say student underscore ID. And inside this student data method, we need to return a layout. Inside that layout, also we need to read the existing student data by the help of this student ID. So what I will do, let's say student equal to, we are calling our model student, we are using find and this find method will find the data by the help of primary key. And the primary key we are passing in the URL, so it should be student ID. Next, we need to return a layout. So let's return view. Here we have, let's say, so hyphen data. This is the layout, means we need to create a file, something called so hyphen data dot php. And inside this, we are passing our data. So let's say here, student, and all about this student variable, means this is our data, and we are passing inside this key inside this layout. Next we need to create the layout. So go to resources folder. Inside this views folder, let's create a file called 
so-data.blade.php and for the time being what I will do if I go inside this add student the same layout we want something with the name email mobile and instead of submit button we want update button so if I copy this form tag go inside this display data pasting it here and instead of action equal to save student let's say edit hyphen student it should be post request type and also while submitting form data inside Laravel we need to include a CSRF token so that's why we have included CSRF directive we are taking name email and mobile as a field but this time inside these fields we want to render the old value so let's write a value attribute and inside this as we know that from the controller we are passing a student key with data inside this layout so by the help of this key let's say student and inside this student we have the name means this is the key or let's say simply this is the column value so student name same I am copying pasting inside this email so let's say student email and finally here for the mobile so let's say mobile and instead of submit let's say update if we save these changes back to browser back here reload this page and when we click on this edit button let's say for this fourth number ID and inside this layout we are getting our layout means route edit this is student ID and by the help of this student ID and model we have retrieved the data and put inside our so hyphen data plate.php layout and we have rendered the existing value so now in the next task when we update these values we need to update our existing data with the help of this updated data also inside this layout we need a hidden key hidden key with this primary key go here let's add one more hidden field so input type hidden value equals to here we have let's say our student and inside this student this is the ID and inside this let's also add a name attribute and for this name attribute the value should be something student underscore ID so what I will do when we submit our data by the help of this student ID we will update our data inside database table so back here and next we need to create this route so edit button back to web.php we need to create for the post request type so submit let's say submit post data so here it, be, it would be something route post here we have edit student inside this array let's pass our controller something called student controller it's a class and let's say submit edit student copy this method name back to controller let's say public function again if I back to web.php copy this method name go here pasting it here and inside this method we need to call our request object so let's request and here we have the request instance if I want to print all the values what we are getting our form so here it would be, it would be something called request and all method save these changes back to browser now if I reload this page click on update button so we are getting something error here that is post method is not supported for this route back to editor 
and I think that this is a route issue. So for that, back to our template file and here we have written call st edit student under this action. So please add forward slash here because when we go here, check this route call edit and edit hyphen student. But when we want to submit this data means our updated form data, we don't want this edit here. So go back, reload this page. When we click on this update button, so I am creating some zoom. And here as we can see that we have a token. This is CSIF token, a student ID or hidden field, name attribute, email attribute and mobile attribute. Now we are going to submit this mobile number, email and name with respective to this student ID and update our existing data. So go here, back to controller. So let's say that student equal to we are using our student model. Again I am using our find method and inside this let's request. By the help of this request as we know these we have the data. So from these data I am copying this student ID keep in mind it's an array. Go here and this is all about request student ID or simply before doing that, go here, let's echo student ID, let's die here to check that student ID, go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting student ID. So let's comment this line, go here, so by the help of this student ID we are fetching our data and now inside this student instance, it's a variable which is containing values. So let's say that student, inside this student we have the name key, let's print before that, so print a student, save these changes, go and reload this page, continue and inside this student object if I press ctrl u to get the source code, so inside this student object we are getting all existing values. Now we want to update these keys back to editor, comment this line, let's say student name equals to and this time we are getting the updated value inside this request instance. So let's request and inside this request we have the name key, same I am going to do for the mobile field, so here we have the mobile. Here we have the mobile, these are basically the name attributes. Next we have the email and here we have the email and finally I am to call the save method. So let's say student and finally we are going to call the save method and at the end we want to return a flash message. So let's say session. I am using a flash method so in the first we need to pass a key so let's say success and here let's say student data has been updated successfully and finally we need to redirect so return redirect and inside this we want to redirect let's say on something our edit page instead of edit page if we want to redact on this list data so let's say list data go here and pasting it here now inside this list hyphen data we need to retrieve this flash message so back to list student and in this in this layout in the last video we had written this code so the same piece of code used this time because inside this code we are checking our session data if it has then we are printing that. So successfully when we submit our updated data, it will go with this student ID and update existing old data. So save these changes. Back here, click on reload. So it is fourth number ID. So if I update some changes here,
now when we click on update button so student data has been updated successfully and if we check inside this fourth number id as we can see that the student data has been updated successfully so this is all about update operation so from the last four videos we have completed all about CRUD operation in the first we had seen that how can we save our form data inside our table inside next we have listed all the data to the layout and finally inside these two videos we had seen the delete operation and update operation so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.